We're here in the WAMDA studio with Monica and Sonia of Glambox.me. Hey guys, how Hi. are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, can you describe the idea to me? What is Glambox? I know that it has something to do with makeup delivery, but... So Glambox is a subscription service for women. Um, each month, if you go to our website and you sign up, each month you'll receive a curated box of goodies which has luxury and niche beauty products. Four to five different ones in a box every month. You get to try them, you get to sample them in the comfort of your own home. They're always deluxe size, so you get at least two or three uses out of them. And then you talk about them on in our online community. We're creating a online community for beauty in the region. Tell us how you use the product, tips and tricks. And for that, you'll get Glam Points, which you can then use to get a discount in our store online. Very cool. How did you get inspired to start this? The concept ex exists on a global level, but when we look at the region, the Middle East in itself has one of the highest beauty spends. After London, it's the highest beauty spend in the world. So it just made sense to bring it over. I see. So are either of you from the region originally, or did you just come to the region to import it? Well, I'm from London, and Monica's Canadian. Canadian. But so you just saw an opening in the market. Exactly. Very cool. And you launched in January. How has your growth been since you launched? Who are you targeting exactly? So we like to think of our Glambox consumer as being more of a psychographic than a demographic. People always laugh at that word. But um, the truth is we want to target consumers who have this curiosity uh, to experiment with, experiment with different products. Our age group does tend to fall between the classic, of course, 18 and 49. But we have great representation with consumers under the age of 18 and over the age of 50. Um, and our target market is growing really quickly. As e-commerce grows in popularity in the region, we find that's our exact target market is women who are online interested in beauty products. It's quite uh, a large segment and it's growing really quickly. Which countries in particular are you targeting or have you seen growth in thus far? So we've been in operation for only three months and we plan these three months as a proof of concept in the UAE. We're both based in Dubai and it's really a great market to enter in. It's the most mature market in, ten, in terms of e-commerce and willing to um, adopt new trends. And the proof of concept has been so successful that we're trying to launch as quickly in, as possible into Saudi, of course. And the Levant, we think Lebanon would be a great market for our product. But in general, we're targeting all of MENA, the GCC, Levant, and North Africa. Makes sense. And what is the revenue model? So I pay a subscription fee, and mm -hmm. I get these products every month. Um, do you, are you going to come up against difficulties with people wanting to do cash on delivery as opposed to credit card? Are you going to entertain that or just restrict yourselves to credit card? We actually like being an online company and we want to get people used to the idea of being comfortable with purchasing online. And as we are an e-commerce site, we're going to stick to either Cashew or PayPal. Have you received investment to date or have you bootstrapped the product? We're very lucky in that um, we're obviously equity holders in our business, but we have this pool of investors, also equity holders, that helped us take the concept and start it uh, about four months ago. So we haven't had the challenges that many startups face, which is that we had to uh, keep a full-time job uh, to make sure we have the funding to supply this business. So 100% of our time has been focused on the startup. Uh, being an Arabnet, of course, uh, the ideal is that you get to meet people who are strategic partners as well as investors to help us uh, expand uh, geographically and vertically. And what are your backgrounds? Have you worked in fashion and makeup in e-commerce? So Sonia and I both come from corporate backgrounds. Uh, I've been in consulting for, or I was in consulting for five years. And I was in M&A for three years and then I worked out for L'Oreal in the Middle East for two years. I see. Um, and so you pitched here. Uh, how did that go? Have you, what kind of feedback have you received? I think this was our first uh, official formal pitch um, in the region, uh, actually since our company started. And uh, it's our first time at this kind of conference. The response has been overwhelmingly positive. It's wonderful. I think we're a bit different than all the other companies. We're not a, a technical company. We're run by two women, and uh, our booth has gotten a lot of attention with the two pink boxes. <laughs> so, I mean, people have been coming up to us. We haven't had a moment to even sit in silence at all the past two days. It's been wonderful. Are you giving out samples? Uh, we should have thought of that. Uh, we're, instead, we're showing exactly what we put in our box just to get the buzz going and so people can see what we're doing. 
but uh, not giving out samples today. But you can sign up to get them at clambox.me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for chatting us with us, and uh, I guess they're going to announce the results uh, in a Very matter soon. of minutes, so we'll look forward to seeing that. Thank, Thank you. you.